Church of God, elect and glorious, holy nation, chosen race, called as God's own special people, royal priests and heirs of praise. Know the purpose of your calling, show to all his mighty deeds. Tell a love which knows no limits, grace that meets all human needs. God has called. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. Amen. Looks like we all finally made it here tonight. Some of you, I know, fought some traffic here, but it looks like we have a full house. Everyone here to celebrate the ongoing preparation and journey of these catechumens, elect candidates, to move forward, to be received into the church, and receive the sacraments of initiation. This is a joyful celebration of the church alive in the Diocese of Baton Rouge. And it's a time for us to celebrate the power of God working in all of our lives. Let us pray. God, our Savior, you always work to save us, and now we rejoice in the great love you give to all your chosen people. Protect all these unbaptized who are about to become your own through the waters of baptism and continue to bless those who are already baptized with your strength. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The nations shall know that I am Lord, says the Lord God. 
when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your calling, one God and Father of all, who is over all, and through all, and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For how many people here is this the first time you're in the cathedral, the Diocese of Baton Rouge? Quite a few. For how many is the first time you've seen a bishop 
with his miter and crozier and a purple vestments. <laughs> okay. I hope you begin to feel a little more what it means to be Catholic, what it means to be a part of this Christian fellowship that entails not just the people from this diocese, but that these rites of election are going on throughout the United States this weekend, throughout the world, as men and women from all places, all walks of life, all journeys, have journeyed to discover Jesus in their lives in a, in a new way, in a brand new way for some, and in a way that has been growing for many, many years. Because the journey that brings you here today is not just fighting the traffic on I-10. It's not just the year or more that you spent in this RCIA program. It is the journey of your whole life. It is the journey of those times when you may, knew, may have known God very well. His presence may have been very powerful in your lives. Then there was times when you fell away and found the truth again, but then fell away again. Maybe because you reached some impasse. There was something about the Christian commitment that was too much. It was too hard. And we let go of it, seeking an easier path, a more temporary and superficial pleasure or fulfillment. And all of them along the way led us almost to what we were looking for and then came up a little short and our hearts continued to yearn. Sometimes we searched even when we were doing very well and God was with us when we were doing very well. And then there are times when we fell and we fell hard. And God was with us there, too. We kept looking for that truth. And all the time, Jesus has been telling us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Trust me. Believe in me. Come follow me. And you have been doing that. You have been following the Lord. And in these last years or months, you have followed him to learn more about the proclamation of Jesus Christ in the Catholic Church. And you've come to see its depth and its wisdom. You know what it means to be Catholic. You know what it means to give up meat on Friday. You know whether alligator is meat or not. <laughs> you know if you've got some, some good old looking beans in front of you. In the restaurant, you don't ask if there's meat in them until you finish them. <laughs> and then you're still innocent. That's kind of, that's, uh, that's upper level Catholic, uh, Catholic life, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, boy, I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, one more time, okay. But you've learned what that means. You've learned about the faith. And it has resonated in you. There's been something about it that's captured you. Much of it the same. Much of it the foundation that some of you who have been baptized or have been raised in a church before have come to know. But then there are different parts that kind of wakened in you something unique. And you came closer and closer. Until today you will be asked... Are you ready to be baptized in the faith of the church? Or were you ready to become a member of this body of Christ? And all this you have been following Christ. And that was one of the great commands. Come follow me. Pick up your cross and follow me. But there is another part of Jesus' invitation that we don't often think about. He says, come follow me. But towards the end of his life, we find in the letters, in the words of John, and he says, come 
and abide in me. You will be my disciples if you abide in me and I in you. To abide in the Lord means we are called to not just know about our faith, but to know the person of Jesus Christ. Nothing in the church will make sense to us unless we have a love for Jesus. When the early Christians came in the first generation, there was no creed, there was no catechism. They were simply told the stories of Jesus, the teachings of Jesus, the practices of that early community. And they were led to learn to love Jesus as the disciples had. And this is so important because if all you come out of this with is a list of things to be Catholic, it will not sustain you. You will not last. You have not grafted onto the vine deep enough. You must have a deep love of Jesus Christ and see that everything that we teach flows from that love, from that person that makes us fall down on our knees at times and say, Lord, have mercy and stand up other times and rejoice. Lord, you are the way, the truth, and the life. And to believe in it enough to make our decisions of life based on that fundamental faith. To begin to see our lives not as just something between now and when we die, but that we have plans that are not just included in our will, but we have plans that are spiritual because we are meant to live forever. Recently I read somewhere where it says, you know what, this man was making an observation, I've never talked to a mortal being. I never carried on a conversation with a mortal being because we have been created for immortality. If we die with Christ, we will rise to him, with him, to eternal glory. We will rise from the dead. We are destined to be with God forever. And when we put our faith in Jesus, it changes our whole perspective. And we trust in him our lives become something new because we begin to find the words of Jesus that are able to free us from our sins, free us from those, as we call them in times, those cheap choices that give us instant pleasure but nothing lasting. With God at our side and our inspiration, Jesus shows us how we are to bind ourselves in love to one another. And you have all come to this journey today to join with this body of Christ, to come to be nourished at the altar of the Lord with the very body and blood of Christ so we might be able, what, to take on the mission of Jesus to go out and transform the world. Your coming here, you should see, is not just for your benefit. Certainly it is. You may feel, and I hope you feel, it is your salvation but it's not meant to be a gift to be hid under a bushel basket. It is a gift that you are called now to take and proclaim and give witness to and become salt for the earth, that yeast that makes the bread rise and smell so good, to bring life where there is death, hope where there is despair. We are to be, with, like Christ, the light of the world because we bring that light with us. You know, sometimes when people say, well, when you're baptized, you receive grace. And you might be tempted to say saving grace. But we say in the Catholic Church, you receive sanctifying grace. In baptism, you become a new creation in Christ. And God dwells with us, within us, a child of God. And he will never abandon us, never. He's always there to lift us up to heal us and save us so that we can then go out and share his love to the world. I hope you feel some of this joy in your heart. I hope you continue to nurture and abide with God in prayer, abide with God in the sacraments, come to receive him in the Eucharist, go to him for the sacrament of reconciliation. Of course, those being baptized, you're covered here, okay? You know, baptized, this is it. 
this is a, a new beginning for you. But to take all those graces and abide with God and let him dwell deep within us so we love him and we do the things of love. And when we act with love, we are energized. We're only doing obligations. It beats us down. So let us be free in the love of God and let us continue to be his missionaries in the world. I welcome you all. What a great joy it is to have you join the body of Christ. We might together begin to proclaim the good news to the Diocese of Baton Rouge. I welcome you now through this ceremony to receive those to be baptized and those to be received into the church. Bishop, Easter is drawing near, and so these unbaptized adults and young catechumens, whom I now present to you on behalf of the diocese, are completing their period of preparation. They have found strength in God's grace and support in our communities through prayer and example. Now they ask that after the celebration of the scrutinies, they be allowed to participate in the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. Those adults who are to be chosen in Christ for baptismal initiation, please come forward together with your godparents or sponsors. Those children chosen for baptismal initiation, also please come forward after the adults with your godparents or sponsors. God's Holy Church wishes to know whether these catechumens sufficiently are prepared to be enrolled among the elect for the coming celebration of Easter. 
And so I ask you, I speak first of all to you, their godparents. Godparents, have these unbaptized adults and young catechumens shown themselves to be sincere in their desire for baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. Okay, I want to make sure next time, I want to hear you really convinced, okay? Have they listened well to the Word of God? Yes. Have they tried to live as God's faithful followers? Yes. Have they taken part in the church community's life of prayer and service? Yes. My dear adult and young people, your parents and godparents and this entire community have spoken in your favor. The church, in the name of Christ, accepts their judgment and calls you to the Easter sacraments. Now you must let the whole church know that you have heard Christ calling you and that you want to follow him. Therefore, unbaptized catechumens, do you wish to enter fully into the life of the church through the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist? Yes. 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 Okay, I want a little bit more now, okay? <laughs> this is big. I want you to be excited about this, and I know it's in there. Don't be afraid to let it out. It feels good when you, you really give yourself to it completely. So, are you wish, do you wish to enter fully into the life of the church to the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist? Yes! yes. Doesn't that, oh, that feel better too? <laughs> Brother, oh, that's you. Brothers and sisters of this assembly, let us confirm God's call of these chosen ones by our applause. parish representatives who hold the book of the elect, please come forward into the sanctuary and stand to the sides of the sanctuary. As God has called you, we now echo that call, addressing each of you by name and presenting your names in the book of the elect. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from Holy Ghost Parish, Hammond. Andrea Bautista Lopez. And I didn't hear it. Caleb Clark. Here I am, Lord. Erica Hemphill. Here I am, Lord. Kipton Hemphill. Here I am, Lord. John Montano. Here I am, Lord. Ashley P.K. Here I am, Lord. Michelle Trejo Roja. Here I am. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from Immaculate Conception Parish, Denham Springs. Cooper Acord. Here I am, Lord. Knox Armstrong. Here I am, Lord. Andrew Goodwin. Here I am, Lord. Summer Graffia. Here I am, Lord. Courtney Gway. Here I am, Lord. Mia Ibarra. Here I am, Lord. Sean Jones. Here I am, Lord. Destiny Lafleur. Here I am, Lord. Haley Mason. Here I am, Lord. Nicole Messenger. Here I am, Lord. Brandon Storms. Here I am, Lord. Larry Stewart. Here I am, Lord. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from Immaculate Conception, Scotlandville. Tyla DeRoven. Tyla DeRoven, 
The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from Most Blessed Sacrament Parish, Baton Rouge. Leslie McDaniel. Here I am, Lord. Lee, Caitlin Reed. Here I am, Lord. Mark Shelton. Here I am, Lord. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from Our Lady of Mercy, Baton Rouge. Buddy King. Here I am, Lord. Jacob Palmasano. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from St. Agnes Parish, Baton Rouge. Emily Alford. Here I am, Lord. Glynis Alford. Here I am, Lord. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from St. Aloysius Parish, Baton Rouge. Robert Bro. Here I am, Lord. Shyla Hebert. Here I am, Lord. Andrew Cobb. Here I am, Lord. Amy Hong. Here I am, Lord. Berkeley Pichu. Here I am, Lord. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from St. Alphonsus Liguori Greenwell Springs. Skylar Storm. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from St. George Parish, Baton Rouge. Patrick Castillo. Here I am, Lord. Santiago Castillo. Here I am, Lord. Renee Dean. Here I am, Lord. Daniel Forresteri. Here I am, Lord. Ty Hooper. Here I am, Lord. Joseph Lee. Here I am, Lord. Blake Risotto. Here I am, Lord. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from St. Jean Vianney Parish, Baton Rouge. Betty Dietrich. Here I am, Lord. Aaron Dykes. Here I am, Lord. Braylon Hackett. Here I am, Lord. Ava Marr. Here I am, Lord. Ian Marr. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from St. Joseph French Settlement and St. Stephen the Martyr, Whitehall. Brooke Dupuy. Here I am, Lord. Donna Manoli. Here I am, Lord. Vicki Rabb. Here I am, Lord. Elizabeth Rowell. Here I am, Lord. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from St. Joseph Parish, Ponchatoula. David Anderson. Here I am, Lord. Michelle Brown. M Mindy Monastir. Here I am, Lord. Emerson St. Arnaud. Emerson St. Arnaud. Here I am, Lord. <laughs> Jean Francois. Here I am, Lord. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from St. Jude the Apostle Parish, Baton Rouge. Kayla Alf Hoon. Here I am, Lord. The church calls the unbaptized catechumens from St. Thomas More, Baton Rouge. Amy Gotro. Here I am, Lord. Faith Nettles. Here I am, Lord. Catherine Tessier. Here I am, Lord. Are there any unbaptized whose names are not called? My dear catechumens, God has called you by name. And you have responded to that call and pledged your fidelity to God by enrolling your names in the book of those chosen for initiation. Therefore, in the name of the church, I declare you to be members of the elect, chosen to be initiated into the sacred mysteries at this year's Easter Vigil.
Dear elect, God is always faithful to those he calls. You must be faithful to him in return. Strive to know, love, and serve him more and more with each passing day. Continue to rely upon your godparents, parents, and the catechists for the help you will need to be faithful to the way of Jesus. May God bring to completion the good work he has begun in you. Godparents and parents, if you would put your arms around the one you sponsor. Dear parents and godparents, may Almighty God bring joy to your hearts as you see the hope of an eternal life shine on these elect. Steadfastly bear witness to your faith by what you say and do. May these adults and young elect grow as faithful members of God's holy people. And may you be a constant support to each other. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. As I call the name of your parish with those baptized candidates who seek full communion with the Catholic Church and who seek full initiation in the Catholic Church, please stand. Once all candidates are called from your deanery, you will be asked to respond and remain standing in place. The Northeast Deanery. The Church calls the baptized candidates from Holy Ghost Parish, Hammond. The church calls the baptized candidates from St. Joseph Parish, French Settlement, St. Stephen the Martyr Parish, Whitehall. The church calls the baptized candidates from St. Joseph Parish, Ponchatoula. The Lord God calls you to continue your conversion to the church. What is your response? The North Central Deanery. The church calls the baptized candidates from St. Paul the Apostle Parish, Baton Rouge. The church calls the baptized candidates from St. Alphonsus Liguori Parish, Greenwell Springs. The Lord God calls you to continue your conversion to the church. What is your response? The South Central Deanery. The church calls the baptized candidates from Our Lady of Mercy Parish, Baton Rouge. The church calls the baptized candidates from Most Blessed Sacrament Parish, Baton Rouge. The church calls the baptized candidates from Immaculate Conception Parish, Denham Springs. The church calls the baptized candidates from Christ the King Parish, Baton Rouge. The church calls the baptized candidates from St. Aloysius Parish, Baton Rouge. 
The church calls the candidates from St. George Parish, Baton Rouge. The church calls the baptized candidates from St. Jean Vianney Parish, Baton Rouge. The church calls the baptized candidates from St. Thomas More Parish, Baton Rouge. The church calls the baptized candidates from St. Francis Xavier Parish, Baton Rouge. The church calls the baptized candidates from St. Patrick's Parish, Baton Rouge. The church calls the baptized candidates from St. Jude the Apostle, Baton Rouge. The Lord God calls you to continue your conversion through the church. What is your response? Bishop, these adult and young baptized candidates have already answered God's call to be buried in the waters of baptism and rise to new life as followers of Christ. Through prayer and the support of our church community, they have heard a call to be anointed with the Holy Spirit and to share at our Eucharistic table. We present them to you so that you might echo God's call of them to fullness of communion with us in the Catholic Church. Dear adult and young candidates for full communion and full initiation, before we acknowledge your call from God, we wish to determine if your response is sincere. And so I will question your sponsors. Sponsors, please stand and place your arms around the one you sponsor. I'm looking for a good answer on this one, too. So. <laughs> Sponsors have these candidates shown an openness to the Spirit by their dedication to prayer and the reading of the Scriptures. Yes. Have they shown their hunger for the breaking of the bread by sharing their lives in service to others? Yes. Have they shown their desire for our common Christian Catholic life by loving their neighbor. Yes. My dear candidates, you have heard the testimony given on your behalf by our sponsors, so I now ask you to speak for yourselves. Do you wish to be anointed with the Holy Spirit in confirmation and share at the Eucharistic table yes. in the Catholic Church? I was trying to look at everybody first. We'll do that again. I'm trying to look at everybody first. Don't, I'll, I'll hold my hand up when it's time. Do you wish to be anointed with the Holy Spirit in confirmation and share at the Eucharistic table of the Catholic Church in our community? Yes. Let the community of the church acknowledge these candidates, call for a full communion and full initiation through the Easter sacraments by our applause.
Dear candidates for full communion and full initiation, the Catholic Church recognizes that your desire to be sealed with the Spirit and to have a place at the Eucharistic table is a call from God. We urge you to respond to that call by joining us during this Lenten season, deepening your baptismal conversion in preparation for the new life of Easter. Christ will be your way, your truth, your life. Walk always in Christ's peace. May God bring to completion the good work God has begun in your lives now and forever. My brothers and sisters, in beginning this period of Lent, we look forward to celebrating at Easter the life-giving mysteries of our Lord's suffering, death, and resurrection. These adult and young elect and baptized candidates who seek the Easter sacraments will look to us for an example of Christian renewal. Godparents, sponsors, and parents, please place your hands on or around the shoulders of your elect or candidate while we pray to the Lord for them and for ourselves. For Pope Francis and Michael, our bishop, who tell us to see the face of Jesus in the poor, may our eyes and hearts be open to this good news. We sing to the Lord. During this Lenten springtime, may we grow as a diocesan church in our love for God and neighbor. We sing to the Lord. that these unbaptized elect and baptized candidates may be freed from selfishness, we sing to the Lord. That their godparents, parents, families, catechists, and friends may be living examples of the gospel to inspire these unbaptized elect and baptized candidates of all ages. We sing to the Lord.
for those unbaptized elect and baptized candidates for full communion and for full initiation who are not here today due to illness or circumstances of life, may they be faithful to the call of God. We sing to the Lord. that our beloved dead may rest in peace. We sing to the Lord. In peace and in silence, let us offer to the Lord our special prayers of need. Lord God, you created us and you give us life. Bless these elect and baptized candidates, add them to your family, Add them to the harvest of your new covenant. May they be joyful in the life you won for us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You're welcome to a, a nice reception over in the parish hall. And I think you get there by going out. The, it's on that side over there. And uh, I will be going directly over there. And we'll have a place to take pictures if you wish. It's not required. You'll still be a Catholic on Easter Sunday. And uh, the longer I live, the more the value goes down. So that's just something to think about. So. But anyway, you're glad to meet us over there. Uh, I'll be mostly taking pictures, but uh, you're welcome to come over and uh, greet one another. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you now and send you forth in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to proclaim the gospel by your lives. Thanks be to God. <laughs>